everyone's having a fantastic day and completing lots of learning. I'm really excited to bring you the assembly this week. Uh, lots of different things to talk about. So, firstly, we have decided to upload an extra assembly for everyone, those who's, for those who are still at home. So, this week we uploaded a forgiveness assembly, uh, which can be found on our school website under the home learning page. Next week we'll be uploading another assembly, so for those children who are still at home, they have the chance to engage and relearn about some of our values and character skills at home. But today we have a merit assembly. So we're going to be celebrating some of the fantastic learning that's happening not only here at school, but at home. So, let's see who gets members this week. So, first up we'll start with Ms. Pavan, who wants to give a certificate to Jake for showing a growth mindset and a positive attitude with his learning this week. Well done, Jake. And also Blade for demonstrating resilience in his maths work this week. Ms. Boyne would like to give an award to Ellie May for showing a character skill of mindset and wonder in maths. She has worked hard on place value and has even spent time practicing at home in the evenings. Well done, Ellie May. Miss Johnson would like to give a certificate to Darcy because she displayed excellence in her artwork. She took the time and effort to ensure her work was presentable and neat. Her work turned out amazing and she should be proud that she took so much pride in her work. Well done, Darcy. Miss Midgley would like to give an award to Reggie in Opal. And Reggie has it for showing great excellent oral, study, oral storytelling skills and drawing great pictures to match. Miss Cook would like to give a certificate to Bailey. Now Bailey has received one for some fantastic independent learning in maths. He showed resilience by using the learning rules to enable him to work independently. Well done Bailey. Mr. Stewart would like to give one to Lucas for working hard all week and supporting his friends both in class and on the playground. He's also displayed his developing vocabulary in English when discussing images in our core text, Rules of Summer. Miss Ola would like to give an award to Riley for showing great enthusiasm during PE sessions and he for using the correct techniques when starting a sprint race. Miss Parsons would like to give an award to Ruby for showing fantastic resilience with this week in her maths when ordering numbers. She was able to use a bead string and her knowledge of tens and ones to help her and to ever spot. Great reasoning there, Ruby, well done. Miss Edwards would like to give a certificate to Alexander for showing the mindset character skill across his learning. He has been trying his best to use his bodies in his writing by using and or because, and added describing words. And also Davis for showing our character skill of mindset and integrity when practicing spelling tricky high frequency words. Miss Brake would like to give a certificate to Olivia for her hard work in maths. She has shown resilience when solving division problems and used her reasoning skills to explain her thinking. Mr. Carroll would like to award Holly for sharing her home learning in science with the rest of the class. She has studied the life cycle of a frog and was able to explain different stages using scientific language. Well done, Holly. And also for Eros at home for keeping up the Elaine values even when working at home. It was great to see you take part in the class Zoom and sharing your learning. Miss Hookie would like to celebrate Mary Jane for being focused and showing resilience across her learning this week. Miss Green would like to celebrate Connor for demonstrating the value of resilience in maths when learning to solve multi-step word problems with division and multiplication. And also for Miss Green Ronnie for using the character skill of mindset. He showed resilience and a great amount of effort when producing his mood board on the artist Salvador Dali. Well done to all these individuals for fantastic learning at school and at home. It's great to see so many examples of everyone having a go, showing all the values and character skills that they've learned at school. Keep it up everyone.
In recent times, we've been seeing lots of rainbows, whether they're the NHS rainbows, or because of the weather, one minute it's sunny, next time it's raining, next week we know we see a rainbow. And some of our children at school were exploring the impact colour has on their feelings. So, we have three people who's going to take us and share their poems with us. So I want everyone to sit back, relax, and think about what impacts you. Green, the waving grass with lucky clovers above and trees even higher, emerald shining below, a cactus stinging like a lost scorpion in the desert, a, a leaf bouncing like a grasshopper jumping in nature, gecko camouflaging like a military zoo with a hint of darkness like a Christmas tree. Red as a Liverpool shirt, red as a Formula One car, a red piece of paper, a red piece of pen, a pencil, the red sun is hot as a pepper, a red planet Mars, the flames danced as a gust of wind blew in. Green, I could feel the life throbbing through me like a thousand lightning bolts all being shot at once. The sun and the ocean collided to make light. The wind whistled through the trees. Thank you, Jaden, Joe, and Oliver, for those fantastic poems. For those watching, I want you to have a think. When you feel angry, or sad, or fearful, or happy, what colours do you associate with those feelings? How do you express those feelings? How can we show this bit of mindfulness that goes along to support ourselves? Now, we also have a very, very special merit certificate this week. Now, it's so special that I'm not going to present it. I'm going to hand over to two of our year sixes, Jude and Billy. They're going to give a certificate to someone who doesn't attend a late primary school, but because of their actions, they're going to have a big impact on our peoples and our community. We would like to award Marcus Rashford a special merit for showing the Elaine character skill of leadership when faced with a problem <laughs> around families in deprivation. Marcus campaigned for free school meals for families during the summer holidays who will greatly benefit and appreciate his efforts during the uncertain time. We give you our deepest gratitude. From all of those students and the community. Thank you, Billy and Jude, for delivering that certificate to Marcus Rashford. And I think I speak for everyone here at school and in our community to say thank you. Because of your efforts and because of your impact on the government, it's going to have a massive impact for our children here at Lane. So that's it for this week. I just wanted to remind everyone that Zoom calls have been happening. It has been so lovely to see lots of the children who are still at home connecting with their teachers this week or connecting with other students on our Zoom calls. Letters have been sent out for next week's Zoom calls, so please make sure you check them, check them out, get online and interact with us. We can't wait to see as many as you can. For now, it's a goodbye and have a good weekend, everyone. See you soon.